We will now begin the presentation of Virtual Space Program. Hello. We are a voluntary organization based in Japan, operating on the social VR platform called VRChat. Today, I would like to introduce our VR Museum of Space, Cosmoria, that we have built, and a new experimental learning experience using planetariums. While you're currently viewing pre-rendered footage, we can actually project these images in real time. We have already demonstrated this many times, including in Japan and Immersa, Montreal. As shown in the image, the commentator can be projected on the dome as a yellow-haired avatar while standing on stage and facing the audience. Cosmoria has seven exhibition rooms, an observatory, and a planetarium. So let's look at them in order. This is the real-time satellite tracker in the main hall. You can view it from any position in three-dimensional space. Not only Hubble Space Telescope and ISS, but also the latest satellites are implemented. The first exhibition room is the dawn of humanity. The museum's journey into the universe begins with us, the human race. Social VR, recently called the metaverse, is an immersive experience in 3D CG space. Users can bring their 3D models and simulations into VR chat using a game engine called Unity. This means you can create any content you want. This is then projected into the planetarium in real time. The second exhibit room is the space race. As you can see, many avatars are visible here. Life-size scale avatars move around to help visitors understand the size of the full-scale rocket model. They are either commentators or audience members, with roles being interchangeable. In the Lunar Diorama, you can jump between the landers of each era with one-sixth gravity, just like on the moon. We'll avoid having the camera jump around today to prevent any disorientation. You can experience types of exhibits unique to VR here in the section about Japanese rockets, such as interactively disassembling and assembling a rocket model, for example. Since we will only demonstrate a few of the exhibits today, we will leave it up to you to come up with your own ideas on how to make use of them. The third exhibit room is about space utilization. The commentators interact with the audience in real time, responding to their voices as they provide explanations. Some avatars will be on site, while others will participate from their homes remotely. The fourth exhibit room is about space observation. Past the astrophotography, there are space observatories for each wavelength exhibited here. Visitors can learn and experience immersively which wavelengths can be observed by which observatory, with the full-scale model of the observatory right before their eyes. The fifth exhibit room is about solar system and planets. You can experience the gravity of each planet firsthand here. You can easily see the differences of gravity at a glance. This is a three-dimensional display of a gravity well of Earth and the Moon, with a lunar probe which you can control. Here, it is manually operated by the commentator.
You can also look closely at probes that have explored each planet, and have a chance to think about their functions and characteristics. For example, the probes that went beyond Saturn don't have solar panels. The sixth exhibition room is about stars and galaxies. Here, we have a 3D star map you might be familiar with. And here, you can see a 3D animation of the life of a star from any angle you desire. Or, check how a star with extreme gravity, such as a neutron star or black hole, looks. The distortion of space are more apparent due to the people around it. The scale of the galaxy can be experienced here as well. The seventh exhibit room is about astrophysics. Let's go look at Saren first. Here we have a model of the LHC. If any of you are interested, we would love to host a collaboration event with you. We are very interested in hearing from experts firsthand. This is a neutrino detector located in Japan. In this museum, you can enter the tank and see the results of today's detection. This is Japan's gravitational wave detector. A coalescing black hole is on display here, with a three-dimensional display of its gravity well. The Michelson interferometer and the three-dimensional grid can be carried around and placed at any position. Finally, there is the observatory and planetarium. The planetarium is equipped with a projector, which many of you might be familiar with. It is equipped with essential functions such as dirunal motion simulation, allowing us to provide both celestial explanations and demonstrations of the projector's mechanisms. As our simulated sky transitions to dawn, we come to the end of our presentation. Finally, I would like to thank you all for providing us with this great opportunity. Thank you for your attention.